Hey guys, welcome. This is the first video in a series of videos covering Python tutorial for absolute beginners. If you are new to programming or if you have done programming using some other programming languages and you are just getting started with Python, then this video is for you. The idea of this tutorial is not to go through all Python basic concepts theoretically, but to go through all these concepts by writing programs and then explaining the concepts by going through these programs. Hopefully this should be a better way of understanding Python for beginners. So uh, all the programs that I'm going to write in this tutorial, I'll make sure to post it in my website techtfq.com. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Make sure to check that out as well. So, okay, so then let's get started by considering the most basic Python programming concepts like expression, uh, operators, and data type. Okay, so to get started, first let's open idle. Idle is an ID which comes along with your Python installation. If you have not installed Python or if you're not sure of how to, uh, how to set up idle to write your first Python program, then please check out my previous video. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Okay, so first let's look at operators. In Python, we have, these are the different operators we have in Python. So we have exponential operator, reminder operator, uh, we have the floor quotient, we have division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. Uh, so we generally use these operators with the integer numbers to perform certain calculations. However, in Python, we can also use some of these operators to perform string concatenation as well as string replication. We'll look into that in a bit. For now, let's see how we can use these operators to perform certain calculations. So let's say if I want to add two numbers, two plus three, I can just type it here and I get the output in my interactive shell. Or let's say if I want to divide two numbers, 15 by seven, I can just write it here and I can get the output. Or let's say if I want to get the reminder of 15 by seven, I can use the symbol percentage to get the reminder. And this is how I get the reminder. Or if I want to use exponential, so that is two to the power of three, I can just use star star symbol and I get the output here. So as you can see, using operators is pretty straightforward. It's similar to what we do in mathematics or and the logic and the concepts are similar in most of the programming languages. Uh, so this is how we use operators in Python as well. Uh, there's one important thing that you need to note here and that is uh, these statements that I have written here. So whether it is uh, 2 plus plus 2 plus 3 or 15 by 7 or 15 uh, percentage 7 or 2 star star 3 these are all called as expressions in python so what is an expression expression is in python expression is nothing but a collection of values which are separated by operators and when you execute them it result it computes a single value so let's say if i want to add 2 plus 5 minus 9 plus 10 okay something like this so i have a list of values here so i have 2 5 9 and 10 and then all of these values are separated by some operators so i have plus minus and plus and when i execute them it it computes to a single value this is called as an expression in python so it might seem pretty simple or straightforward now but uh, knowing all of the basic uh, programming concepts can really help you to uh, to avoid certain silly uh, errors uh, going ahead. So, okay, so this is what an expression is. And uh, okay, so now let's talk about data type. As you can see, we have multiple values here, uh, 2, 5, 9, 10. A data type is a category to a value. That is every value in Python belongs to only one data type. So. So let's say I have values like 2, 5, 9, and 10. Each of this value belongs to only one data type. So in Python, the most common data types are integers, floating point numbers, and strings. So as you can see, integers are like whole numbers. Uh, they can be either positive numbers or negative numbers. So any value such as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or negative 1, 2, or 0, they are all belonging to the integer data type. And floating point numbers are those numbers who are having decimal, decimal points. So any values like 0 0.5, 1.25, etc., are decimal point numbers. So let's say if you have a value 0, then Python treats it like an integer. And if you have a value like 0, .0 then Python treats it like a floating point number. So le then let's come to strings. Strings basically are any value. So it can be alphabets, alphanumeric values, numbers, special characters. But the condition is that 
uh, python considers a value as a string only only when they are uh, enclosed within a single quotes or they are enclosed within a double quotes as you can see here so either single quotes or double quotes so any value that is enclosed within a single quotes or double quotes is treated as a string by python so to check that in more detail so let's see uh, we have a function like type so you can enter a function like type and let me pass a value here let's say type of 5 so when i enter this it shows me that type of 5 belongs to the class int meaning that the value 5 that i passed here is actually belonging to the data type int so now let me pass 5.0 5.0 so when i enter now it says that 5.0 is float so as you can see it it looks like 5 and 5.0 is pretty similar right but then for python 5 is treated as an integer and 5.0 is treated like is is treated as a float data type so it's an important thing to note uh, and similarly let's say if i want to uh, check for string so let's say i just make this 5 i put this 5 within a single quote now when i click enter it says that this 5 is a string it's because I've entered this 5 within the single quote so meaning that any value that has been enclosed within single quotes or double quotes so let's say I can also use double quotes so instead of single quotes if I use double quotes it's also considered as string so this is what python treats different values with different data types so if it's a number whole number python treats it like an int if there are decimal point numbers then python treats it like float and if there are any values so even if there is alphabet or alpha numeric values then python treats it like a string so for a string the condition is that it has to be enclosed within a single quotes or double quotes i hope it makes sense so this is how we have seen uh, operators like plus minus uh, etc and then we have seen expressions which are basically list of values separated by operators which are which compute to a single value and then now we have seen data types so three most commonly used data types in python so now if you remember in the beginning i told you the operators that we have are generally used to perform mathematic operations like to calculate certain values right but then i also told you that certain uh, operators can also be used to do uh, string concatenation as well as string replication so let's check that so let's say i have a value like hello okay and let's say i'm using the operator positive and i enter value i enter another string value like there okay and now when i execute this you can see this i have two strings i have hello and then i have there and i have an operator plus so so as you can see when i pass two strings uh, besides the plus operator it concatenates these two strings whereas if i had used two numbers in in place of these strings then python would have actually summed up these values so when you pass two integers it will actually sum up these values but but if you pass two strings with the plus operator then it's going to concatenate these values so but let's say if you pass a floating point number so let's say if i pass floating point number with an integer then the output will always be float so this is few things that you need to remember and let's say if i am going to use the same hello uh, but this time instead of using there let me try to use an integer that is five it's, it's going to throw me an error because whenever you're using plus operator with a string then the on both the sides that is on the left hand side as well as on the right hand side of the plus operator you need to have strings if you if you try to concatenate a string with an integer python doesn't really know how to uh, handle such cases so it throws error but let's say if i convert this 5 into a string so now i told you any value that is uh, passed within uh, single quotes or double quotes python treats it like string and now when i execute it it's actually going to pass it's going to concatenate hello with five and shows me as hello five so this is how string concatenation works we can concatenate two strings using the plus operator and we can add two numbers whether they are integer or floating point numbers by using the same plus operator so the two different purposes of uh, using the plus operator similarly we have the star operator which can be used uh, to replicate values in strings so let's say i have 
hello so let me again use the same string hello and this time let me use the star operator and enter 5 now you can see the output is it's basically multiplying this string fine number of times because it's a value that we passed here so this is called string replication that is it's replicating the same string this number of times so we can do this uh, in python by passing a string and then pi pa but then by using the star operator and then pi by passing a integer value so but let's say if i'm going to use 5.0 it's going to throw me an error because python uh, this string replication only works with string and a number that is an integer if you pass floating point number then it does not work because let's say if you pass 5.5 .5 or something like that python doesn't really know how to split this hello into 0.5 right so that's how uh, the string replication works i hope this was useful so we will go into other python basic concepts like variables in the next video so make sure to subscribe and like the video if you found this useful thank you